When the ground shakes, the questions begin. How strong? How dangerous? How long will the aftershocks last? Lucy Jones is the woman with the answers. 23 ABC's Alyssa Flores visited Jones at California's Institute of Technology to find out what we learned from the quakes in Ridgecrest and how long the area will feel the impacts. A magnitude 7 happens somewhere in California once every one or two decades. On July 5th, 2019, it was just outside of Ridgecrest, a 7.1 magnitude earthquake that followed a 6.44 shock the day before. Probability of another five in the next week. Millions turned to seismologist Lucy Jones for Quite answers. More magnitude fives to come. What I am providing is reassurance for the community. When the earthquake happens, because it's so sudden, we are all afraid of the randomness of it. What I do when I come in here and give it a number, I give it a name, I, that's saying somebody understands it. It was Jones who told us that after the 6.4 tremor, it was possible another big one was on the way. Sure enough, the following evening, a 7.1 oh quake oh hit the high God. desert. Every time there's an earthquake, we say about 5% of the time, we, we see a bigger one. This was that one in 20 times. Many were in awe during a press conference when Jones called that an aftershock was on the way. Okay, so we have an earthquake that's already begun. Seconds later, it was felt. There it is. There, there it is. is. Yeah. <laughs> Feel it? Yeah. yeah. Again, Jones says this wasn't her prediction, rather new technology, California's early earthquake warning system. We can use the nearby stations to say an earthquake is already underway, the shaking just hasn't gotten to you yet. And then you get some time before the shaking gets to you if you're at a farther distance. Jones says watching this technology at work was one of the biggest societal takeaways from the Ridgecrest tremors. There is now a statewide app. It's called My Shake. You will get whatever warning we have. Jones says the app will notify you seconds before the shaking starts. And while that doesn't seem like much time, she says it can be enough to make a difference. Gives you extra time to get under that sturdy table that's going to be the safest place to be. Reassurance as the high desert has since experienced tens of thousands of aftershocks. And Jones says to expect the shaking to continue there for years. Probably a few years that you will be feeling regular events. But have you noticed they're a lot less frequent now than they were in July? She says a quake like this could have been much worse. We all overestimate the risk of dying in an earthquake. And we underestimate the long-term impact on communities. The one thing I, I hope the lesson is not learned is that, oh, we can handle a magnitude seven. Put this earthquake through Bakersfield instead of through Ridgecrest. And you'll see that there's gonna be a lot more damage. So how long before Kern County could see another quake of this magnitude? I think your long-term rate of once every 20 years or so, which means every year has about a 5% chance. But Joan says you shouldn't wait to prepare. We need to remember that this is part of life and don't wait for it to happen to decide how you're gonna be ready for it. For 23 ABC News, I'm Melissa Flores.